another episode of Learn to Play Marimba. With me, Amy Stewart McIntosh, director of Things Large and Small at Kutandara. Mostly small. <laughs> uh, we're in my home office today. Thought I'd change it up a little bit. And we're starting to work on a song called Njuzu. Njuzu means water spirit in the Shona language of Zimbabwe. And this song was popularized by Stella Chiweshe, the queen of Mbira, an amazing Zimbabwean musical treasure. If you haven't checked her out, please do so on YouTube. And all the places you get your social media. This particular arrangement of Njuzu for Marimba was written by Daniel Lockley, a dear friend of ours and instructor at Kutandara for seven long, fabulous years until he moved back to New Mexico last year. So we're going to start today with a part that Daniel calls second soprano, and we're also going to call the basic pattern. Um, the reason I'm choosing to call this particular part the basic pattern or the basic part is because it glues everything together in terms of um, chord progression, in terms of polyrhythms. This part has a very familiar rhythm that maybe many of you have played before, which is called both right, left, right, both right, left, right, both right, left, right, both right, left, right. Where your right hand is playing six evenly spaced beats, at the same time your left hand is playing four evenly spaced beats. They come together on the both and then right, left, right. That's three against two, two of them together, six against four, a very common polyrhythm all across Africa. So in this particular part, second soprano, we're going to be starting in third position of our C chord, left hand on G, right hand on C. And we're going to be using um, a couple of different chords in this song. We're going to be using the C major chord. We're going to use a chord that we at Kutanda are called the Fumvu chord. It was the first time it was introduced to us. E and B. And we're going to use that in combination with the C chord for the first two phrases of the song, which together make the question. Um, the basic pattern or second soprano is going to play both right, left, right on third position of the C chord. And then move down to the left and play both right, left, right on that Fumvu chord, E and B. We're going to do that gesture two times and that will give us our question. So we've got both right, left, right, both right, left, right, both right, left, right, both right, left, right. Now for our answer, we're going to use our passing chord and we're going to do two of those gestures here on F in the left hand, A in the right hand. And then we're going to move up to our G chord to finish the answer. Double dot G in our left hand, B in our right hand, two gestures there for our answer. If we put all of that together, we get our whole basic pattern or basic second soprano part. Question. at the end so we could have a question Let's try it at a slow, steady tempo together. Starting in third position of our C chord, moving down to our Fumvu chord, then repeating that gesture, then using our passing chord and our G chord finally. Here's what that uh, basic pattern will sound like at a slow and steady tempo.
tempo, the second soprano, basic pattern to this song, Njuzu by Stella Chiweshe, arranged by Daniel Lockley, will sound like this. to the Stella Chiweshe song in Juzu, arranged for Kutandara Center and the World by Daniel Lockley. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, have fun, and catch you next time, guys.